Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike. We made this going to roll at U.S. Cellular Field, bring you baseball, baseball, baseball. And we ran across one of the men for the White Sox, Brett Myers. How we doing? Doing good, coach. How you doing? Just fine. First of all, let's walk him to Chicago, to my Chicago audience. I appreciate it. Thank y'all for having me. Okay. Let's talk about Brett Myers and his baseball career. You've been around a long time. What did it all start for you? Um, well, when I got drafted in 99, I was with the Phillies and uh, played there for eight years and uh, went as a free agent to the Astros and then got traded over to Chicago. And what was that experience like? Every kid dreamed of being drafted. When Brett Myers was drafted, what was that experience like for you? Well, uh, you know, a lot of friends and family over at the house. And, uh, you know, it's not, it wasn't televised like it is now, so you just had to kind of wait for the call and, and uh, or listen to it on the Internet. And, uh, you know, hopefully your name would get called. And, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it was a dream come true, but at the same time there's still a lot of hard work that needed to be put into it to be able to make it to this level. And I've always told my guys, if you want to play on this level, you got to eat, drink, and sleep baseball. So what was some of that hard work for Brett Myers? Well, uh, you know, you start out in the minors. I mean, you're not, uh, you know, it's at 18 years old, I got thrown right out into the real world and had to go out there and, uh, you know, pay my own way and do do my own thing and then uh, work hard and be at the field every day. It was like life really wasn't as it was supposed to be like or how it was when you're in high school and everything. So, you know, you got to go out there and, uh, you know, do your work and, and uh, be at the field every day at a certain time and, and put extra work in and, and uh, you know, just basically learn the game more than you already know. Your ability got you drafted. Now you need to, you know, work hard to hone your skills and be able to, to compete. Now, a lot of these youngsters is watching the show and discipline in the big leagues. They think minor league life is steak and eggs and show up at game time. No, that's not true. It's uh, usually peanut butter and jelly, and you're lucky if you get that in the lower levels. Uh, and, um, you know, it's uh, – but that's that's the stuff you got to go. It's riding buses, you know, for sometimes for 16 hours to get to a place to play. You know, there's not – it's not like you fly places or anything like that. You do at the later levels, maybe AAA, but that's about it. And then uh, – you know, you go out there and you just got to keep grinding. It's a daily grind. I mean, it's 142 games in the minors, 162 in the big league. So, it's, uh, you know, it's a lot of hard work. You got to keep yourself in shape and, and uh, try to stay healthy. So, in other words, you can pay your dues once you get to this level. Absolutely. I mean, still, it's not, not easy when you get to this level. You have to keep working hard and, and uh, you know, keep trying to hone your skills in because, you know, they say it's it's easy to get here, but it's even harder to stay here. So, it's uh, that's one of the tough things. I mean, you have to keep working just because you made it for, you know, a season mean that you are guaranteed a spot next year. You know, having coached college ball and just being a coach in this game 30, 30 plus years, I've seen kids with talent and ability and you kind of take them under your wing and give special attention to them. Who were some of the mentors for you coming out? Well, uh, you know, I didn't really have anybody in the minor leagues. I was kind of, I had a, a pitching coach that uh, took care of me pretty well and taught me the, the ropes and everything. And, and uh, you know, when I got to the big there really wasn't anybody there that um, was going to you know, give me any advice until, you know, we got Kevin Millwood in Philly, and uh, he really helped me out a lot and, and uh, taught, me the, taught me the ropes. And, uh, you know, so there's, uh, you know, been a couple people in my life that have helped me a little bit, and, you know, through this game and everything, you know, I had pitching coach in Houston, Brad Orangeburg, that, you know, was really influential in, in uh, my years in Houston. And uh, and uh, Rod Nichols, he's a A pitching coach now with the Phillies. He was my first really ever pitching coach, and I talked to both those guys all the time. So it's, uh, you know, they, I, they still help me to this day. And coming over here to the White Sox, what has this experience been like being in Chicago? Um, well, it's it's been good because I come from a team that wasn't winning hardly at all, maybe once a week, and uh, you know that's really tough, and, and it's hard to go to the field every day when when uh, you know you're you're not really winning any games. That's, I mean, that's tough to do. But you know, coming here, up, getting the field earlier, you know, it's a good good group of guys to be around. Uh, great team you know a lot of good personalities and uh you know it's it's fun and that that's what baseball is all about and winning makes baseball even more fun last two questions you gotta get ready for the baseball game so i came in the locker room a couple days ago and saw the, the gold teeth and, and the mustache and i see the day you caught me off guard i didn't recognize what, what's with this mustache now well uh <laughs> you know a lot of guys on the team did it and i said if uh if uh Canerco shaved his goatee off i'd shave mine off so he went in there and did it and i man of my words i went in there and did it and you know, last night was uh kevin hickey night so and he had a mustache so we kind of just kind of did a tribute for him and and uh you know hopefully we can rock these things if we keep winning we're gonna have to keep these things around for a while okay let me take you back for this last question take your way back 
first got to the big leagues, got that call up, walked in the locker room for the first time and saw you in the What was that experience like? Uh, well, it was kind of, it was in Wrigley Field. It was actually here in Chicago. So it was, uh, and, you know, growing up, I watched, you know, the Cubs and the White Sox and the Braves play on TV. So to be able to go into Wrigley Field, it was, uh, you know, it was, it was special for me. And, uh, you know, just to know the history of that field and, and what's all been done in, at that field with players that have played on the same field, I have take in but at the same time you got to go out there and you got to do your job and concentrate you can't let the atmosphere overtake your uh, ability to go do your job coach take your youngsters behind the scenes with the man brett myers appreciate it